Hello, hi, assalamu alaikum, and a very good morning, Malaysia. Wow, this is the carnival, the virtual trainer carnivals, uh, William, uh, volume two, and this is Excel Madness Day. I'm Bina, Bina Manafi. I'm so excited to be here today to 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 show you some of the tips and tricks in Microsoft Excel, especially the smart table feature. What is a smart table? Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, myself, my full name is Shabena B. Binti Muhammad. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer. Been training for more than 20 years. And I hope with this, uh, you know, uh, training carnival and with all my, you know, uh, trainers. And they are also very expert in their field. And we look forward to give you more and more until 5.30 p.m. today. So stay, stay tuned, everybody, guys. Okay. I'm going to share my screen. going to show you more tips and tricks of the world. Come, I show you my sample now. Okay, so this is my Excel. <laughs> okay, I am not nervous. I'm fine. I'm happy. I'm cool. And I'm enjoying my session now. And this is for you, Malaysia. Manual table versus smart table. And it is in Bandera, Malaysia. We are going to our Merdeka Day. Do -do 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 -do. Merdeka Day soon. Okay, anyway, come back to the topic. The topic is about table. Just now Saiful mentioned about your, you know, how to prepare table in Excel. So as Kelvin, this table has many, many, many automatic features inside. I have seven, eight magics to show you now. Seven magic to show you. Okay, but before that, what is what does it mean by manual table? Come, I'll show you the sample now. Hey, this is my table. On the left is my Excel table, but it's just a table, not yet a border, not yet having border, color, or whatever. Just a simple data set. On the right, it is an Excel table. But when we say table, right, people tend to say, ah, table, just table. I call it smart table. Smart table, because it has seven smart tricks. Actually, more than that, but now can we go into, let, let me go into the sample, okay? The manual table on the left is all about the manual tricks. You know, all the while you've been highlighting the table, highlighting the table, you go to the home, you click the format, you go to the border and select all borders. Huh, okay, the table is there with the border and Maybe you want to color the table. There's you go. Okay, you can color the table. You can give some gray color, black, blue, or whatever you want. Huh, that's the table. Okay, so manual. You got to color all by yourself. But on the right, that is the smart table. The smart table already applied and it can do wonders. Come, I show you one of the trick. The smart table automatic because if I wish to color the smart table, I just go to the table design menu. Oh yeah, by the way. How do you know the table is smart or not? That's a tip. If I click the manual table, I don't have the menu called table design menu on top there. But if I go to the smart table and click, wow, I have the table tools design menu on top there. The table tools design menu is the indicator for the smart table. So if someone asks you, hey, how do you know that's smart or not? You just show them the menu. The menu table tools design or table design for Excel 365. Okay, so here in the ribbon at the right corner of the ribbon, you can see a group called table style. You just click the arrow and choose your favorite color. I love yellow color. So I select yellow and there is my smart table. But you know, sometimes when you work, when you print, you don't want colorful background. You can change the table to something like bright and easy to read. But now, nah, I'm not that kind of person. I love to have some fun colors on my screen. So I go to this yellow color background. There you see your smart table is in. Okay. Anyway, let's talk about the color later. Okay, guys. So let me show you the first magic of the day. The smart table magic where you just click the table. And let's convert this table to smart. Just now, um, Calvin mentioned about the menu. Insert table and table button, that's the icon. Or else, shortcut is Control-T. I just click the table, I press Control and T on the keyboard. And that's my 
mark table range is highlighting from the cell B, column B to column G, and my table has header, you must check. Else, your table will get different headers and you'll be having another headache. So my table has header is referring, referring to, the, to the very first row of the title where I have the number, date, payment date, and so forth. I just click OK to change the table to a smart table. There you go. Wow, that's my magic number one. My magic number one is the table automatically colored and auto formatted. Wow, fun, right? Ah, this is the first magic. You don't have to sit down there, highlight, white, green, blue, color, right? You just control T, convert the table to smart. And let me go to the second magic. Wow, the second magic. It can expand by itself. Guys, you don't have to highlight, highlight, highlight like what you did to your manual table. Come, I show you the manual table trick first. I go back to my old table, the boring table. If I wish to type something here, say I want to know the total, total, and the, nah, it doesn't give me, it doesn't give me the border, it doesn't give me the color, and I have to highlight and border and color all by myself. Wow, this is so, 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 no, it's like, so many things to be done here. Or some people, they know how to copy paste or maybe some, some people know how to format painter. That'd be great. But then, no more after this. The beauty is <clears throat> your smart table can expand by itself. Come, i show you the second magic. The second magic is when I click beside the last column of the smart table and I type the total and the, there you see the table expands by itself and die. The table is auto expand. Not only that, if I type something down below, the table expands down too. For example, I type number 10 and press enter. There you see the table is increased, is increasing its range and color and format and so forth. So the table is auto expand it can automatically expand to right or bottom by itself so you don't have the hustles to highlight and and you know convert the column to to different border or color or whatsoever you don't have to do that you know it saves a lot of time here okay now i'm going to the next magic but wait 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 wait, wait. before i go to the next magic let me ask you some question uh, yeah i know you guys like ab you are so fast lah. can we just Recap something, something on the first part. Okay, let me go back, go back, go back to the first one. This is the smart table, okay? For some reason, you say, hey, B, uh, is there any condition for the smart table? Can we, go, can we go to any table and just control P? If you ask me that question, I got some conditions to tell you. If you wish to convert your table to smart table or automatic table, condition number one, it only works with vertical layout or vertical table. It means that your table must be in horizontal, I mean in vertical, where it has the title on top, the first row with title and the bottom row with the data. Okay, similar to this vertical table. If your table is horizontal, you can copy and transpose, transpose to vertical. The reason, what is the reason? I must have a reason, isn't it? Okay. If you go to vertical order of your Microsoft Excel, if you see the number of rows, let me just click one empty cell here and control A row down. It shows your Excel can go maximum 1 million of 1 million 48,576 rows in Excel. Just imagine that 1 million rows can go there. Wow, okay, but then if I scroll to right, if I control right to the right most of the table, it has only XFD, which is about 16,000 plus of columns, 16,000 columns. It's not sufficient for my data, you know, sometimes I, be ha I might be having 50,000, 60,000, even 100,000 of row, uh, information. So 16,000 column doesn't, uh, you know, they, they, they don't really, uh, you know, can, can work with my big data, column and uh, column. So that's the reason why most of the table in vertical order. When we talk about database, data set, they're all in vertical order. And that's why Microsoft Excel table or smart table only work with vertical table. It doesn't go to horizontal table, okay? Come, I show you my next step. 
Okay, so the first condition is table must be vertical. Second condition. In the table, you shouldn't have any merge. Shouldn't have any merge. Let me show you. What do I mean by that? Let me highlight some of the data here. Say I got uh, balance and balance. Ah, I got balance, balance. I got Mastercard, Mastercard, Visa, Visa. I got some data here. And I try to merge them. Let me show you how. I highlight Mastercard, Mastercard. I go to Home Menu, Alignment, and my master, my, my Merchant Center is not working. Uh oh Merchant Center is not working with the Smart Table. So it seems that the Smart Table doesn't support Merchant Center. Why? Why, why, why? Let me tell you a secret why merge is not good for your table and why must a smart table doesn't support the merge data. Come, I'll show you a secret. I come back to my table here. Let me just quickly copy my data just to show you the idea. I copy this table, I scroll to right, to the right, and I just paste here. It's a quick idea, okay? And you know what, guys? Sometimes we tend to merge data. Suka, suka hati. Go and merge. Highlight, highlight, merge. Da, da, da. I can merge because it's a manual table. I go and highlight, highlight, highlight some data here. Merge. Wow, that's good. But now I tell you the problem. Disaster. When I try to filter or sort. But before that, let me just quickly undo. Undo to show you the original data. Over here, we have one, two, two MasterCard, isn't it? Two MasterCard, and there are, few, there are a few Visa card. But let's say I go and merge data, make them one. And see, when I go to filter data, I try to filter my data. Give me a second. Okay, I go to my data menu, and I select filter button, and check it out. Let's say I want to filter by MasterCard. You guys know, I know if there are two MasterCard, right? But let me go and filter MasterCard. I go deselect all. I choose MasterCard. Okay. Uh-oh. There's another MasterCard. Missing. It's not there. What happened? Alamak. The merge, the merge eventually go and take out the other MasterCard, discard the other MasterCard, okay? So this explains that the merge and uh, merge is not good for your database because it can spoil your content. It can spoil the number of rows in the table. It can spoil the, the story of the table or the content of the table. So it's not a good practice. You see, I was having two MasterCard just now and now I have only one. The other one has been discarded. How do I know it has been discarded? Come, I show you. I go to the payment type and then there's a one icon here, a one item here called blank. Oops, I think I don't have any blank, right? So I just click blank button. Okay, huh. the other cell is a blank cell. So this really changed my original source. Guys, merge is not good for your database, okay? So please don't merge, okay? Now, how to troubleshoot this thing? I got to click and clear all. I have to remove my merge button, unmerge, and I got to pull down. Luckily, got two. Many? Ha, huh, I give you one problem. Let's say here got merge, here got merge. Okay, I go and merge. I suka suka hati merge, you know, everything I merge, 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 merge. And there you see so many merge inside here. And then I, I heard B, B, my name is B, by the way. I heard B say convert to smart, convert to smart table. So I go and convert this table to smart. I just click the table. See, I click the table and I go to control T on the keyboard. I press control T. There you go. Entire range is highlighted. Table has headers. It's checked. Okay. Uh-oh. The merge is now unmerged. My smart table is very smart, telling me that show sure, you should not have any merge data inside there. And all the merge become unmerged, isn't it? But then how to fill in the blank? Are we going to click, pull down, click, pull down, click, pull down for 100 times? We don't have enough time. I'm given only 10, 30 minutes here. <laughs> okay, 
So let me show you some quick trip, some quick trick how to fill down the blank cells. Okay, very easy. First rule, you got to highlight the blank range. I mean, the, 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 the range with data, okay? In this case, I highlight the range between column A and AB. And on the keyboard, I use control G, G for gaja, <laughs> G for go to. So I control G. And this control G is actually in the home menu editing group. And you can go to the button, find and select, and go to it's somewhere here, home menu. And you, know, you can find that. Let me show you the menu. Lah, eh? Go to home menu, editing group, find and select. There is the go to. Click the go to, and you have a special button down there. What does it mean by special? I have a special request. I want to fill down the blank cells inside the table. So I go to the special, and there are so many options here. My plan is to fill in the blank cells. So I click the blank option here, and I click OK. There you see. Wow, all the blank cells are now highlighted. So what's next? I got to create some reference to tell, hey, table, follow that reference, okay? So to do that, I type equal on the keyboard, the equal sign on the keyboard. There you see, there's an equal sign waiting for your instruction. So I click the text above the equal sign, which is MasterCard. But why MasterCard? Because I want to pull down. I want to pull down and let that MasterCard down into the next cell, isn't it? So I use the MasterCard as my reference. And if I were to copy into multiple cells, I don't press enter. Don't press enter. Why? Enter returns only one answer. You got multiple empty cells, right? You use control, enter, control, enter. Wow, that's how I get my data in. See, I have done the magic here. I convert merged data into unmerged smart table, and then I fill in the blank cells. And to make these cells independent, not moving, not changing later, I highlight the range, right-click, copy, and I just paste value back to itself, back to the cells. So they know, okay, they, they are now independent cells. They got no reference to change or whatsoever. Okay, anyway, done with that. So the condition number two for smart table, there, is, there should be no merge inside the table, okay? So condition number three, guys, number three, your smart table doesn't support blank headers. So if you want to create smart table, make sure you have some headers on top there. In case I delete the headers, Smart will give me a temporary list of headers. Okay, I got column one, two, three, four, five, that it won't allow me to blank the headers. Okay, that's good for my pivot report or my charts or whatsoever. Okay, so that's the rule. Three rules, guys, three rules. Rule number one, vertical table. Number two, no merge inside. And number three, you got to have some headers on top there. Okay, now let me go to the next magic. So magic number one, auto format. Magic number two, auto expand, you know already. Now, let me go to magic number three. Magic number three is one of the best part of Microsoft Excel. You know, once upon a time, when you type formula, you got to pull down, pull down the formula, isn't it? But now, no more. When I type formula in here, I type equal. Where a piece of Yanaki, what is Yanaki? I don't know. Don't ask me. But I know the price is $22.95. That's the price. Multiply by quantity. One unit by two. Okay. <laughs> One unit, $22. You buy two, two units. Okay, two. Quantity of two. Then you press enter. Check the magic. I press enter. Voila. Chante. Everything is now into the... It's, I, mean, I mean, the answer is displays by themselves okay this is so cool isn't it i don't have to pull down pull down the formula not like once upon a time once upon a time when i was in my manual table i had to pull down the table one by one every day when i have some new information let's say i do this manual table the same thing like i did to my smart table equal the price multiply quantity enter check this out so lazy bump, doesn't go down. Oh, I got to click, I got to drag, or I got to double click. There you see, manual table. So dependent. 
You so busy, you never come here. Dia pun tunggu, wait for you, wait, wait, wait. Where is Bina? Come lah, pull me down. <laughs> okay, so that that's something like, you know, so, so, so manual, isn't it? So let's not try this trick anymore after this, okay? So I go back to my autofill. There you see my smart table is so smart, can autofill the column by itself, just nice. <sighs> I'm going to the next magic. Auto freeze. Hmm, what does it mean by auto freeze? Your smart table can pin the header. Pin the header. Let me scroll down, 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 down. Check this out. The headers are there on top. I never freeze the header. I never do any changes to the table. I just convert table to smart. As I'm moving down, 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 the headers remain there. So just imagine I got 1,000 of rows and the header, good headers are there on top. I don't have to scroll up, scroll down, scroll up, scroll down. Or some people very, very smart, they go and freeze the header. Excellent, very good. But then the smart table is so smart, it can, it, it, it can do that, that magic for you, it can freeze the header, can pin the header. But then if I go back to my manual table, this is my manual table, so dependent, so lazy. I click the table, I scroll down, check what happened. Ding, 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 ding. Uh-oh, what is that? What is that? What are these things? I don't have the title. But when I click the smart table beside, ching, I got the title. So the smart table is so smart, so clever. It knows that I'm scrolling down. I need the title for some reason to identify, to analyze some data. So the smart table is there to make your life faster and easier. Okay, I mean more easier. In, in this case, you, you know what's going on in that table, which, is, which table is that, okay? So that's my magic number for it is auto freeze or auto pin it can freeze the header and then when you go to some formula it does freeze the column for the formula i'll show you that later okay but now i'm going to the next magic magic number five that's about smart table auto capture ha come i show you what happened here I got grand total $187.55. This grand total was captured from the range between um, cell H6 to H10. Uh, this is the range. Lah. Okay, the amount of the range is $187. And I do have another formula down there for my sum if where the data total, sum, sum total is taken for the visa card alone. Because I want to find total by visa. So visa alone returns me 145.65, okay, uh, income or total sales. So this is the story, okay, this is the, 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 the current scenario of the table. But you know what? Your smart table is so, so, so smart. It can capture new row all by itself. You don't need the offset function. You don't need to type any formula. You don't have to crack your head. It's like straightforward. Okay, wow, I can hear my voice. I can hear my voice. Somebody is like, um, okay, no problem. Come, let's continue. I go to the number here and I type some new info. Number six, the date. Today is the date. Today is 15 of August, 2021. And I pay Visa card. I use my Visa card to buy Yanaki. What is that Yanaki? Biker, maybe. But the price is very cheap, maybe mini H here, okay? So I'm buying the bike for the price of, let's say, $100 per bike. Wow, so cheap. It's okay. No problem. And by the way, Lazada having some, 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 some uh, sales, right? So you can go and check by yourself, okay? So anyway, I go to quantity. Let's say I'm buying the bike for two units. Two units. I get the amount of $200. And the magic is the total visa is $345.65. I remember it was like $148 something. And the grain total also changed to $387. The whole range is now expanded by itself. The data has captured, I mean, the smart table has captured the new entries. 
Okay, you can copy paste, you can type by yourself. As you key in, key in, key in, your table expand, expand, expand. And that's how you save your time. You don't have to copy down, you don't have to drag down, you don't have to insert row in between. And this really, really magic, I tell you. Please convert your table to smart. You save some time over here. Okay, come. So that's the magic number five. <sighs> <laughs> okay, now let me go to magic number six, auto-calculate. Wow, what does it mean? What does it mean by auto-calculate? Okay, let's say this is the scenario. I am having a table here, some numbers inside, and I need to calculate the total or the average or the count or max or mean or whatever. The problem is, one, maybe I'm so lazy to type formula, or two, I may not, I, I don't know the formula. I don't know the formula. Sometimes happen, right? So how to do some quick analysis in the table using smart table? Come, I show you. I click the table. That's my smart table, you know, right? Okay, smart table. Then when you click smart table, you'll get your table tools design menu. That is the indicator for the smart table. So when you go to table design menu, you have a long ribbon. Come and read from the left. You got the property, the property, and then you got the tools, and then you have the external table data. And now we have the table style option. And that's where I want to do some changes now. So in the table style option, I select total row. Total row. That will now create a calculated row for me. So I click that total row and there you see a magic. There's one row appear all of a sudden at the bottom of the table. And you know what, guys? You can do many, many tricks here. For example, uh, I want to know how many transactions happened so far, how many days I got sales. You know, for example, in this particular table, I can go to the data date column. And beside the total, there's a small tiny arrow in, in that cell. I click the arrow and I got some ready-made calculation. Example, I want to know um, a number of transactions happened so far. So I click count. Wow, I got five transactions happened so far in the table. Hmm. I want to know the average sales or average price of this table. So I click and I can choose average. See? Ah, or maybe for some cases, you don't want to show all this stuff. You can just click and choose none and none back to the original empty cell. And maybe you want to have some total quantity, just total income and total quantity sold. So I just go and count or max or sum, depend on what I want. You see, everything is there. You just make sure you have a healthy mouse with you. Healthy mouse with you to click the arrow and choose your favorite functions. Okay, so guys, feel free, go around to the table, check, explore, experience, explore, and have fun with Microsoft Excel Smart Table. Okay, so this is my uh, magic number six. Wow, this is good, magic number six. Okay, you can do some calculation. Okay, wait, some people did ask me this question. Hey, B, what if I want to have extra rows? I mean, I want to key in data. Where do I type? Do I type down below? Can I type something below the total? Nope. Never do that. Never go below total and type number six. That become alien. That become stranger. The number six is not part of your smart table. Please don't do that. So how to create number six or row number six or input number six? I got two magic or two tricks for you. I delete the number six there, okay? So magic number one, trick number one, to insert the number six or row number, uh, the, the, the next following rows, you may go to the, you may go to the smart table design menu or table tools design menu, and you just can uncheck the total row and you can continue your data entry. If you have, like say, you got to copy a big bunch of data into your smart table, you can just uncheck the total row, copy paste, and just select the total row once again. That's magic number, I mean, trick number one. Or else, if in case I want to maintain the total row, and I say, hey, I just want to continue some row down below there before the total, okay? So I just click the last most cell in the column total sales. 
which is my row number five, the total sales of row number five, and I hit that button, T-A-B, that button on the keyboard. I hit button and that increases my table. Check this out. So if you want to key in data one by one, one by one, one by one, you just press tap, 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 tap. But if you've got a bunch of data to copy paste inside here, don't put tap. You just uncheck the total row and just copy paste data, expense table, and then on the total row once again. So that's how you manage your smart table, calculated columns and calculated rows, okay? <sighs> this is good, right? I love smart tables so much. Now, the, la the next last trick for the day before I hand over my presentation to my colleagues and so forth. Okay, let me go to the next trick. This, that is my slice and dice data. Okay, this is my next trick, magic number seven. Okay, actually there are 10, 15 magic slides, but I just take the main one, okay? This is my magic number seven, the slicer, where you can slice and dice the data. Wow, this is slice and dice data feature. Okay, and this out. My database, just a cute small database, right? If I were to filter some data inside here, the old practice, once upon a time, what I did was, I click the table, I go to data, I select sort and filter, but in this case, because smart table, right? Let me go back to my manual table. Huh, this is my manual table, the, 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 the lazy bum table. Okay, this is the one. I click the table, the manual table, and I see the data menu, and I go to the filter button, and I can see some filter arrows. And let's say I want to filter by Yanaki, I go to click uh, the arrow and click the Yanaki and check on Yanaki. Okay, so that's how I filter my data once upon a time. <sighs> so manual, but now no more. I go back to my slice and days data, which is which is my my last trick of the day. Okay, in the magic number seven, you have some, uh, you know, this called slicers, slicers, there's this object called slicers at the right corner of your screen here. This is called slicers, okay? The slicers are there because of your smart table. If I don't have smart, I don't have slicers in this case. So what's the purpose of using slicers and how to get those slicers first of all? Okay, let me show you how to remove and get the slicers back on the screen. Let me just click this object and I press delete on the keyboard. There you see, it's gone. I hit the table, I mean the slicer, I press the delete on the keyboard. Gone, no more slicers. Now let me show you how to re get back or how to return the slicers, okay, on the screen. First of all, this is what I do. My normal practice is I click the header of the table. And you'll be asking me, why not the, 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 what, the, the cells? Why must the header? Uh, that's part of my practice. <laughs> okay, anyway, if you click the cell, the cell tend to hide, tend to move, isn't it? And the slicer will move through. That's the logic. Lah. So to make the slicer static in a place, I love to click at the header of the table. Okay, that's where the, the, the slicer, the position of the slicer will be static too. Okay, that's the logic. So I click the header of the uh, of the table and I just go to the, you know, to the uh, smart table design menu and there is a button in the design menu in the group of tools, a button called insert slicer. Huh, this powerful button is hidden here. But guys, those with old version, version 2007 or 10, Excel 2007, 2010, very, very sorry. The slicers, the slicer icon is not there in the ribbon for your version. But for 2010, you can see slicer in your pivot table uh, ribbon later. Only for seven, you do not have slicer. I'm very, very sorry about that. Anyway, let's go back to the story. I click the header, I go to the table design menu, and I choose insert slicer. Click that. Cha. Okay, now what is that? Huh. I want to filter Yanaki. Yanaki. Yanaki is inside the product table. And I want to know Yanaki by Visa card. I go to the payment type. There are two checkboxes here. Tick, 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 okay. Then the rest I don't select. Um, you can take them if you want. I will show you the file later in the link. You can try all this by yourself. 
And now let me just go to OK button and there you see my slicers. Wow, cantik, cantik, cantik. I like this method. Okay. Anyway, if you see the slices are very, very boring, the colors like blue, 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 you can change the slicers by clicking the menu of the slicer. Let me check. I click the first slicer. I go to the, oops, let me just go, okay. Go to the slicer menu and I choose my favorite slicer color. It can be red color, green, yellow. My favorite color, yellow there. Wow, 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 yellow color. Okay, click here, green, blue. Okay, maybe blue color, no, 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 yellow. Okay, just nice. Huh. If I want other color, possible. Just go and make new color down there. Okay, but we don't have enough time. My time is up now. So I just click Aspen. There you see my slicer now. Slice and dice data from Aspen. If I click Carlota, wow, just nice. Yanaki, cool. Wow, I got my Yanaki there. And this thing works fine with the Totoro. Let me get my Totoro. Where's my Totoro? Check this out. I got the Totoro quantity for the Yanaki sold for three. Oh, sold for seven units for the total income, $147. If I want to know how many Aspen I sold so far, Aspen, I got the amount for Aspen. Wow. If I want to clear filter, click, click, click. That's all. Okay. If I want to know the visa card income, I click visa card. And that's my income for visa card for the seven uh, unit sold. Ha, cantik kan? Hmm. So guys, if you say, hey B, we like the trick, but we don't like the color. Because you know, sometimes for some reason, printing purpose or whatever, I want to take out all the colors. No problem. You can maintain your smart table. You can maintain all this magic. If the color is a problem, you can take out the color from the table tools design. Choose any color that can suit your you know, maybe for the printing purpose or whatsoever. Or you can even go and change your favorite color down there. Okay? But why, guys? I want you guys to convert your table to smart because it has so many smart tricks that saves your time and you can work with your work, maybe your data peacefully after this. You don't have to go back and highlight the table, go back and expand the table, go back and arrange the table again and again every single day. Let your smart table take control of the data set. You work peacefully with the formula, with the report, dashboard, colors, and so forth. I mean, the, 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 the dashboard presentation or reporting and so forth. And the smart table is the next level of this, uh, I mean, of your data set where you want to go into Power Query or you want to work with Power Pivot, you got to convert your table to smart first, okay? So you should learn, you should experience the benefit of this smart table, okay? It's really far better than your manual table and guys, trust me, you love it. You will love it, okay? Trust me. And I love to share this smart table with all my friends and my, my students every time I start my Excel class because I don't like to see them sad, you know, highlighting the range again and range again. Some of them, they say, hey, my mouse is not working and so forth, right? So smart table is the best practice. If you want more details on the smart table Excel class, this is my number. You can contact me and stay safe Malaysia. Thank you so much for attending my session. Have a good, great day ahead. Okay, whatever it is, stay safe, stay strong, stay at home. Okay, have a good rest after this. Happy weekend, Selamat Hari Merdeka, and don't forget to celebrate the National Day. Okay, bye-bye, take care.